Saidi Shabani, a 34-year-old father of two, never imagined his life would take a dramatic turn over a minor domestic dispute. One evening, what started as a simple disagreement with his wife, he says then escalated into a nightmare. He claims in a fit of rage, his wife slashed his hand with a knife. The injury was severe, requiring immediate medical attention. When they took me to the hospital, the anesthetic was finished, so I was stitched up with no anesthesia. My hand started to get infected because the attack was done much earlier, since the night before, without being cleaned, my hand was swollen, so they had to get three people to hold me down as they cleaned me due to the pain. The Legal and Human Rights Center has released a report revealing a 6% increase in domestic violence against men. Diana Rose, the founder of Boys Initiative, an NGO that fights to protect the rights of men and boys, says the trend not only challenges societal norms, but also demands urgent recalibration of support systems. Domestic violence isn't just physical. Thinking it's just physical is not being fair to the victims. In homes, women beat their men, use derogatory language to break their self-esteem. Women deny their partners basic rights and duties in the home. All that is considered domestic violence. Tanzania is yet to have domestic violence legislation. There is a section in the Law of Marriage Act that has touched on spousal violence, but which does not provide remedial action or punishments against a perpetrator. Lawmakers are now looking to change that. The dilemma for men in Tanzania and most African countries is the culture. The taboo surrounding most Africans is that a man cannot be battered or abused by his wife. And if battered or abused, he should not openly confess, leading to cases, even if reported, not making it to court and hence discouraging men to take action. Domestic violence is an issue that for a long time was cloaked in silence. Now campaigners are unveiling the vulnerabilities some men face within the confines of their homes. The views on the issues are mixed. I have to beat him if he doesn't do his duties properly. When a woman controls the finances in the home, they become the ultimate ruler. So if the man makes a squeak she doesn't like, she will come down on him hard. Maybe this is the payback that God has allowed. Organizations like the Boys Initiatives are pushing the government to take more action to protect men from domestic violence, but it will need a concerted effort from both men and women. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.